guys, it's Megan, and today uh, I thought I'd make a video that uh, someone who follows uh, Deb on the Purbane channel has asked me to do in regards to Magic Mix. Magic Mix is this mix that you can make and store in your freezer um, and do supposedly a million things with. Now, you can make vanilla pudding, chocolate pudding, uh, Alfredo sauces, um, gravies, uh, I don't even, it's almost endless what you can do with this. And you're supposed to mix it with, uh, I think that it's a stick of uh, real butter, um, not margarine, um, some cornstarch, uh, and some dry milk and then you're supposed to store it in your freezer because of course the butter goes rancid now I don't have that much space in my uh, freezer so I've created a version of magic mix that you can use that you can store on a shelf and this is my magic mix and it works exactly the same way for the same things gravies cream of soups um, it uh, puddings and to prove this, I am also going to make a chocolate pudding, which is what Deb in the Purbane, at the Purbane channel um, created with her magic mix. Okay, so here we go. I'm use the mixer method with the whisk because you want everything to be incorporated really well. You don't want to have more cornstarch in your mix than you do flour or more butter in your mix than you do cornstarch. So, um... I've altered this recipe just a little bit, um, but all in all, it's almost the same. So to this, I'm going to add one and one third instant dry milk. Okay. So that's the milk part. Okay. Now remember, this needs no refrigeration. This isn't going to go in the refrigerator. This isn't going to be stored in the freezer. This can be stored on the shelf using an oxygen absorber. Okay. Then I'm going to add half a cup of cornstarch, which is this. And cornstarch makes a big mess, so you want to measure it gently. Yeah, my method is messless. <laughs> okay, so that's half a cup of cornstarch. Now, the original recipe for flour, but I put them both. So. Uh, one and a quarter cups of butter. I use butter powder. So, one without the oxygen absorber. And a quarter cup butter powder. Okay. Loosely. And then to combine everything and make sure that it's all combined, I use two tablespoons of flour. So now, I'm going to put my mixer in and mix it on low. Lock it down a bit. Um, can you see the inside of the bowl, Danny? Yes? Okay. So, we're mixing and we're whisking. It's all still got to be whisked. Um, and then, you can use a dry spatula um, to just mix it up a little and get everything in. Okay. Turn it back on. You want to turn it on as high as you can. Now, uh, when you create the magic mix that you put in the freezer, it's it's going to beat up just like this. It's going to it's going to be like little balls of um, powder. It's it's the same thing. And I'm going to show you how to use this in the pudding recipe um, that Deb had in her on her channel, on the Purbane channel. Um and so I'm just whisking it so that everything gets incorporated well. There you go. A little shaky. I can smell the butter and the flour mixing. You can smell butter when it mixes really well. And then you turn it down. And this is what it should look like when it's done. Okay? It's all incorporated. There are no spots of flour or butter or loose everything is incorporated so then i take my 
Magic Mix jar that I use Tadler lids with. Um, I already have um, oxygen absorbers in there because I mix this early in the week. And then I just put it in here. Now, my part two video will be of the chocolate pudding. So stay tuned for that.